Hi, Cancer. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. I, I just, I love when I do a reading and I record the whole thing and then it dies <laughs> and I have to start all over again. So, um, your reading will probably be a lot quicker because I've already read the card, so I'm already, I already know what they're going to say. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Pentacles. So this is really about you. Sorry if this is too loud. This is really about you juggling um, your life. I feel like you are juggling uh, a relationship where you are the one doing all of the work and I don't really feel like you are too upset about that because being a cancer I feel like that's kind of what you do you know like you you love your family and you love your friends and you love people so much that you're willing to carry the weight of two people not just yourself okay so I feel like you are really trying to keep things above board um, you're trying to manage a family you're trying to manage um, your personal life you are trying to uh, and when I say marriage I mean uh, manage I mean take care of you're trying to take care of all the bills you are maybe some of you are taking care of a business or running a business and uh, even if you are involved with another person, if you have a partner, I feel like you are the one who is really, you're the organized one, you're the one who's running the show, you're calling the shots. And it's not because you have this need to be in control or that you have a need to boss anyone. It's just out of love. It's because you care, right? Everything that you do is because you care, right? So I feel like for the month of um, November, that's going to be your energy. And it probably always is uh, for the most part, but I feel like it's going to be very prominent, very strong for this month. Okay. Now in the recent past, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this could go one of two ways. This could be the energy of the recent past where things are just plodding along. Okay. Um, very routine everything is you know life is still progressing um, but it's not like when you get to amusement park for the first time and you run through the gate because you can't wait to get on the rides this is more like I'll get there I'm paced I know the rides are waiting for me I'm not rushing I'm moving forward but I'm not rushing I'm very paced so the energy could this is an energy of routine okay um, you know, uh, having faith that things will work out, moving forward, but also um, doing the doing those day to day things and just maybe just really in kind of enjoying. Now, this could also be another person in your life that I feel like an, is an Earth sign, and it could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn who's significant in your life. Okay, and the reason I'm thinking more so Virgo because you have the Hermit card here and the Hermit card is a Virgo card, but that would only resonate for some of you. For others, it could be an Earth sign. And then for the rest, it could just be someone who has the energy of, you know, is very, just very paced, reserved, slow going. This person would be in their 30s. Okay, um, but it's it's just someone who's, you know, they get up, they go to work every day, they do the things that they're supposed to do, they're very routine, they take care of business, um, they are always moving forward, progressing forward, okay? Um, now, your present situation, as I said, is, is the hermit, okay? So the hermit is, and I don't feel like this is your energy, I feel like this is another person in your life who is also, as I said, very reserved. but. They could also be, and it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but they could also be someone who is actually withdrawn right now in this month. They Stuff could be going on, and there's a challenge ac that lies across them is to try to reach a place of emotional contentment. Um, either they are not feeling content. I feel like, I feel like they are not emotionally content, okay? Um, but I also feel like you, 
you have a desire with the four of pentacles in your subconscious mind you have a desire to hold fast to them you are um, not going to give up on them you're not going to let go your energy could be very possessive with this person okay um, you don't want anyone to take them away from you um, and I don't know how that would relate to you in another situation but it's on your mind with the state of cups here that there is a possibility that you could lose someone and I feel like that would be the root also of why you are holding up both ends of this relationship right this could be a friendship this could be a lover this could be any anything but I feel like you are that's why you're doing what you're doing um, because you sense that they might be very unhappy um, because they have closed up emotionally and they're not reaching out they're not sharing they're not happy they're not content um, they're trying to be but something's going on and you fear losing them because this card is crowning you and the crown has to do with the head so your thought process is that you're thinking you might lose them and that you need to hold on tight to them or even tighter right now okay um in the near future you have the magician so here you are um i feel i don't feel like this is another person i feel like this is energy coming to you that you know you're trying to figure out ways to keep holding on the the magician it's a magician it's it's new tricks it's not necessarily deceit i mean technically a magician is being deceitful <laughs> because he's he's pulling rabbits out of hats rabbits don't live in hats <laughs> But, you know, it's all in fun, right? So I feel like I, I do get a sense that this, this is energy where you will be doing everything that you possibly can to manifest ways to hold on to this relationship or hold on to this person because for some reason you feel like uh, they're not happy for some reason and maybe there's a sense that you feel like you need to do everything in order to keep them happy you know you got to make sure you're cooking dinner make sure you're going to work and getting the money make sure that you know all family is happy make sure friends are happy make sure everyone is pleased you know please 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 and you you know you may be trying to figure out ways to keep doing that because in the position of you you are a caretaker okay this is this is your energy this is you you're planting seeds you are planting uh, so you can root yourself so you can be grounded so you can have um, you know a family so you can have uh, everyone's to be happy it's stability okay um, you're the person that would plant um, a seed and it would turn into a hundred year old oak tree because you would live that long to make sure that that tree was getting enough water and enough light and enough food because you are a caretaker and that's the kind of person you are so this this card actually fits very well you know um, you, now some of you could be saying well you know I had a plant last week and it died well you know maybe uh, well maybe it's not plants that you're good at but maybe it's something else but you are definitely a caretaker and you do want others to be happy and in the position of how people are viewing you this month it, they're viewing you as someone who is not only uh, uh, a giver but as someone who is also a receiver so people feel like they can come to you and ask you for help and they also feel like that um, that, that you will um, ask them for help. There's a lot of back and forth. You know, there's a, a lot of mutuality between both between you and another person, and and also how someone else views you. You know, it's just that right right now, um, whomever this friend is or whoever this person is in your life, they are not feeling. Um, they're very unhappy about something. I'm not sure what it is, and you you don't want to lose them. 
okay um, in the position of your hopes and fears you have the two of cups so this person could be a, like a soulmate to you whether it's a lover or a friend or a family member um, this person is very special to you. you this is like a soulmate connection this is someone that affects you on a very deep level and you affect them on a very deep level it's in the hopes and fears so it, it's it's basically saying that you fear very much have not being connected to this person you have a very serious attachment to them and um, it's also hoping that you will be able to keep maintaining that with them I see you doing everything you possibly can to either save a relationship from breaking up or to keep maintaining a relationship so that it doesn't get to that point okay in the position of your outcome you know maybe it's something uh, in like as far as the magician goes with trying maybe tricks or trying to figure things out or try to you know uh, figure out ways to main, keep going. Um, you're cre I feel like you'll be very creative this month. So, you know, you could come across some money or you could, um, you know, maybe there's a trip. I feel like somebody's going to want to take a trip at the end of the month. Okay. And when I look at this card, I try to see it. When I look at this card, I feel like what's coming to me is there There could be a camping trip, a cruise. Someone could be going to Asia or visiting Japan. It could also be somewhere where it rains a lot, okay, where there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, damp, are not not so much damp but just where it's just mostly rainy most of the time so wherever in the world you are and wherever in the world um, that could be somewhere something that maybe you need to do to revive because I do feel like someone is in a dark place right now they're not they're not necessarily isolating because if the hermit was in the reverse that would that would tell that with this card but they're more or less uh, just being alone and they're having trouble connecting emotionally and 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 you may be having trouble connecting and it could be bringing out issues within you that maybe you feel like they're they want to leave you so you're holding on tight to this relationship or to this friendship could like I said if some of if there are uh, those of you who are not involved and are just listening to me and saying I don't even know what you're talking about which would be a normal response sometimes I feel like um, this just could be a friend or someone close to you or a family member that you value very much and that you're trying to hold on to or you're trying to just uh, you're, you're trying to please them you're trying to manage and, and make them happy and I think that's very commendable for you, Cancers, because you you are the only sign in the zodiac that is so very much like your your movements toward your loved ones. It's so unconditional, and your love for others that you value or you're close to, uh, you will go to the ends of the earth. It's it's not like you support them because your ego has a control issue or anything like that you support them because you just truly love them and I, I feel like you want to reach out and help someone or you want to reach out and connect to someone because for some reason they are just kind of like withdrawn right now Okay, Cancer, I'm going to end your reading there. If any of this resonated for you, fantastic. If you need a personal reading, my information's in the box below, and you can always contact me or leave me feedback and let me know how um, if this works for you. If it doesn't resonate at all, that's great. That's fine. You can listen to your, uh, your rising or your moon sign to get maybe a little bit more information. And I always encourage people to listen to other tower card readers because there's some great ones out there, and you really can gain a lot of insight on your situation from different readers a lot of time I find that sometimes three or four tower card readers will have very similar messages for a particular month or whatever lunar uh, whatever cycle you know that we're in um, and that says more about how um, the energies are controlling the reader and not the reader controlling the energy but just want to throw that in there okay guys I will see you
or I will talk to you um, in December and weekly readings will still be going. Thanks. Take care. Bye.